Hey guys, Flying Dutchie here. Welcome back to part 2 in our Deadlands run in Victoria 2 Historical Flavor Mod. So, I have been looking around. A couple of things I did after I stopped recording the last episode. Last episode we took two states of France. It's actually really nice if we could get rid of out of that war like this. I had to restart some naval bases. Maybe because the province was occupied. I did this everywhere in the world. So every province that we own where we can build a port is now building a port. Now the second thing what we can do is declare Belgium right now. When we add this war we will gain two infamy and we can't two infamy is too much and we lose 100 prestige because we are uh, because we are going over our truce. So we need to wait until we are below 23 infamy and then I can try to attack Belgium. I don't know if that is a good idea. But uh, let's find out, right? We don't have any... Uh, any uh, prestige anyway. Let's put these in half. Two cannons, four infantry. Three cannons, three infantry. So we need... We want uh, a split. So we need to build four more artillery. And then a new army here. And East Indies over here. The army is done. I'm going to split you in half so we don't get any attrition. One of you is actually going to uh, Batavia. And you need a couple more clippers. Build four more. And also our, our, our navy in... Europe needs uh, at least seven more, so we can do a 30,000 army transportation. There we go. Uh, we are going to research the idealism when we can. We are now stockpiling research points, so it goes a bit quicker. We can get the alliance back, fine. We can do a thing here. Lots of jingoism, that's really nice actually. Uh, I just give what the people want, I think, before we get too many uh, uprisings. And they don't really care at the moment. I could do the trade union so we can get a bit more social reform desire, which is good to get uh, schools and healthcare. Other ones are not that great, but at the point when they want the other ones like less hours at, at work and stuff. Then... We are already so rich that it doesn't matter. Right, we can now take this one. This should go really quickly. And we should take a look at our... Population. The best, the most population is now in Arletois. So we are gonna make them more intellectual. Same counts for Picardy. Sure. I should build all the forts here and here. We are building them in this state. There we go. And we need a bit more money to build them in every province in this state. See if we can actually make the amount of money to need. Yeah, we need a tons of money. Doesn't look like it. Um, well, we have to wait a bit, right? So let's not pay for our troops in our... Uh, ships. I need to go below 23 in for me, and then I think I'm just going to go and attack Belgium. I mean, do they have allies right now? I think they still have no allies. Okay, they do have an ally now with uh, the United Kingdom. So I guess that was our chance that we cannot do anything about anymore. And since you are a great power, you won't get anyone in your sphere, which is fantastic. I guess we will go back to Belgium when Prussia has, has no more truce. I think otherwise it goes wrong. So yeah. I think we're gonna just work on our economy right now. 
hopefully we can get a claim to uh, take more land over in uh, the East Indies. I should actually send the ones that cannot reinforce back home. There we go. Building all the factories. Jingoism or military mi or pro-military without getting infamy, uh, militancy. I mean, go. We build another troop. Build one more in the East Indies. We are number three, mi military-wise. It is absolutely crazy. Andorra. No, I'm not gonna bother by Andorra. Some French troops over here. Uh, you need more cannons. Go to Rotterdam. This army is complete. We are still building more, I think, so... Wait for those to come in. Oh, I almost clicked. Uh, Pro-military without getting rebels, please. Because we can get a lot of rebels. Since we own all that French land. And we can build all the forts here now. Yeah, now we are building the forts everywhere. And we are building the naval bases everywhere. Perfect. Yeah, the elections are done, but I do not agree, so... <laughs> then we go back to the other one. Uh, we can do another thing here. Mm, no one cares. Maybe do some more of this one. There are the armies for the other stack. Now you just need, um, yeah, you have one too much infantry, I think. Yeah, there are still some armies that cannot reinforce, but I think we they will get better soon. Let's do a quick save here because I like this start before something bad happens, right? There we go. You still like me a lot? Yes. Do you want military access? Of course you want. Russia, I love you. Not gonna get rid of my population. I will give you military access as well. There you go. Allies forever. Are you only allied with Great Britain at the moment? Yes, you are. That's alright. When is your truce with Belgium over? So many nations. Oh my... Oh. August 43. People are very cranky. We get cholera. That's bad. All the factories are getting built except for the two new states that we got. I'm still thinking about attacking Belgium right now. But I don't think I can beat Belgium and Great Britain. Well, Belgium is a great power. Okay, I'm gonna test something. See if it works. I'm gonna save the game again. See if I can beat them on my own. Because if Belgium does not get reinforcement from uh, 
If Belgium stays the war leader and we occupy everything, then they should peace out, right? And then we don't have to call in Prussia and then we can take Luxembourg ourselves. Otherwise these two, these two uh, provinces become free. Spain got something happening with the Carlists. They are a kingdom. Sure, Oldenburg. Sure, Anhalt. Okay, let's wait for the organization to go up. And we can do something again here. I, I will go for all the trade unions, so we have more social reform desire. Okay. Now let's see what happens when I declare war. We lose, we lose everything. Prussia will not join. Now let's see what happens if we can actually win. So Great Britain is in the war. And we roll zeros again. Not for long. I just tech wipe that army. And then over here, actually, you can actually walk towards uh, Singapore if you want and kill the and siege that one down. Let's see if we can win this war. We have the research points. Um, I think it's time to get the next naval technology. When are we gonna stack wipe him? Pretty annoying, right? That was it. Don't see Great Britain yet. Okay, Great Britain is now uh, the war leader. Let's see what we can do. Sometimes they will land troops here and then we will just wreck them. Okay, we got Singapore. Uh, diplomatic map mode, where are you? Yeah, it is only Great Britain in this war. It's only Great Britain. Of course they take my colony. Yeah, they have way too many brigades. <laughs> have to try and occupy Belgium, peace out, and then hopefully we can peace out Great Britain with a white peace later on. Or we have to give him some small thing. I mean, this would be a hell of a start if we can manage to uh, do it like this, right? Where is Great Britain going? Another, yes, we can make better school systems, yes. More school systems, more education. What is my focus doing? Oh yeah, clergy, right? Yes. Still need more administration, education. Yeah, we need more everything. Maybe I should lower the terrorists a bit. He's not landing troops on my land. interesting he is blockading me and that will give him some war score not a lot, not a lot we can do we get fully funded education plus five percent plus seven and a half percent because because of our schools i think uh, treaty of nanjing i think we can take belgium guys 
Then we are not going to lose all our prestige again. It'll be the last time. But this, this way we get all of Luxembourg ourselves. Which is fantastic. There's a bug in the game by the way. You cannot ally Switzerland. It gets automatically broken. Maybe because of their neutrality or something. I don't know. It's really weird. Still no British. Interesting. I mean, I could land uh, an army on uh, Australia here. Can we take Australia? <laughs> no, we cannot. We cannot go. We cannot get any more infamy. Oof. <gasps> oh, they made some troops. Um, Split, where are you going? Bruxelles? Stacky, stacky. Kill the one in Bruxelles. Soon called to Brussels and nothing else. The Chartist Society. Immigration push sounds nice. Okay, we are not gaining more money at the moment. Belgium, you are going down, and Dutchy has a great start. Keep an eye out for the British. Nothing here. Let's get the Hussar. We can get way more troops in... Uh, in Europe, we can have a decent army soon. Of course, not as big as uh, France or something. We can do another thingy. Yeah, they want better voting. Sure. Go to Hasselt. Going to Namur and soon called Namen. The papers are broken. Oh my god, look at the papers. They are broken. Belgium fears our might. Prices rise. <laughs> the newspaper is broken. <laughs> oh, not anymore. Did you guys see that? Every five days I get a new news new new newspaper. Wow, that was so strange. Oh, hello Britain. And that is why you can get war score against Britain, because they are doing these things. Oh, let's land two thousand troops on Batavia. Maybe we can win. No, you cannot. Will only give me war score, Great Britain. Okay, Limburg. You go to Luxembourg. The British have a civil war or something. Belgium is gonna be mine. There was a weird way of warfare here in Europe. First I don't take what, I, what my war goal is and take two states of France and now I choose break and take Belgium. Alright. Fine to, sounds fine to me. So this is state of Wallonia. It's a very good state. With tons of coal. And iron. Mm, I think I have to go a little bit higher. I don't want to lose that much money. We will be at peace for a while after this war. Um, I will take the steamers. And then we go to nationalism and imperialism. Because we have tons of decisions we can take. 
when we uh, actually finish that research. This is one that you can unite all your territory over here. So, would love to take that one. Also want to take uh, concessions from uh, African countries. It's gonna be uh, a bit harder. Because we are at a high infamy limit. You are done. You can help out here. I think we have the supply. Not really. Or do we? Yes, we do. Okay, done. I think we can peace out Belgium. Uh, not by piecing it out through Great Britain. And that is going to be a small problem. I cannot do it here. I would never accept. But I can say to Belgium. Hey, um, I want to annex you. And there we go. The Netherlands grew a bit more than I thought it would. At the start of the game. And now we have tons of factories. Because in Flanders you... Start with a fabric, canary, cement, and liquor. And Valonia has a steel mill, ammunition, small arms, also liquor because it's Belgium, glass, and a paper mill. I don't like that paper mill. I think I'm gonna destroy it. And the glass I also don't like here. I want to build military factories here. This is level 3, so I will keep it around. Now we have the Treaty of Amsterdam. Now that the war is over and the southern provinces are now once again under Dutch rule, the Prussians have been quick to pressure. The Prussians are not in this war game. Hello? We did it on our own. Well, I guess we have to honor the treaty. Yeah. We have no choice. Well, damn it. So there you go. Luxembourg is free. Let's lower the maintenance. Let's get some money incoming. And we get level 2 naval bases everywhere. Uh, well, we should not lower the maintenance because we still have to fight. Yeah, we cannot do this. I can lower the naval maintenance though. See what we can build as armies. You need a cannon as well. This one. Need one more cannon. I will get hussars. We're gonna kill the other. Uh, uh, what do you call them? Cavalry, because they are not good. Beginning of the game they are decent though. Maybe in this mod they are actually good. I don't know the, the difference in stats. So. But you're just going to kill them. I want a 5 artillery, 4 infantry, 1 hussar. There we go. So they are now in the sphere of uh, Prussia. I think when they form North German Federation that Luxembourg will join. Hey, and we have extra focus available. Apparently. We now have Flanders or Vlaanderen as our biggest uh, state. So we should get their intellectuals up to 2 or 3% here. 
You have two percent already. Three, one point one. There we go. We need to get to two percent as quickly as we can. Uh, Great Britain, are you still trying to do something against me or what? Doesn't look like it. I wonder when they want to peace out. I'm not going to give them anything. I mean, of course I'm not going to give them anything. Oh my god, Dutch Wallonia is full. Of course they are, because we uh, made so many factories. So, we make steel, ammunition, and small arms. Could make some explosives. And an artillery factory. I think I'm gonna build those. These are all not having needing any steel. We are making ammunition. Yeah, I'm gonna make an explosives factory. Over here. An artillery factory. And we have the full tree. Yeah, that's the full tree. And then Flanders, yeah, well, we are making textile here. And some cement and liquor. Because we make grain, but we don't have a glass factory here. I think I'm gonna make uh, some cloves with the textile. Textile is only good for cloves, I think. Yeah, let's get a cloves factory here. That should cancel the projects. And it did. We are not making any money. Oh yeah, we are still fully funded our f funding our army. Liberal Students Association. Immigration push, please. Level 1 forts are getting built. Fantastic. Uh, did we build a naval base here? No. Because Antwerp is it. Antwerp is the naval base. Let's get all the level 2 naval bases of all these uh, states. East in Europe. There we go, that was it. Yep. I don't know why this is so, so much green compared to the other ones. Maybe because they are constructing. Yeah, yellow is constructing, I think. And green means that they are at the full level. I think. Yeah, but this one is also green and it's not on the full level, so... And we lost this naval base again, because of the war. Mm. Oh well. I'm not even gonna try to kill these uh, ships here, that will go wrong terribly. Against who are they? What is happening? The match on Amsterdam. What is this? Great Britain is having a bug. <laughs> I need to restart the game after this episode. <laughs> hey, what is this? We get the beer hall in Namen. Absolutely. Absolutely. We are now 7th in the world and 4th industry wise. Isn't that crazy? Let's piss off the liberals, right? This can take some time before they want a white piece. Maybe they never want it. But I cannot do anything against their boats. Ah, this is what I wanted to see. That they are invading me. That is exactly what I want, so I can get a battle war score against them.
Oh, look at that first roll. 10 versus 4. And we killed 4,000. Will this be a stack wipe? Almost. Are you going? Arnhem. This can give us so much war score. That we can... Peace out. It's only 3% now. We need to hurry, because when they invade too quickly, we have too many armies in the Netherlands and we have a problem. They can only have one dick in, so we should be fine. There's their big navy. Let's kill them in Duinkerken. Yes, we are killing more than they do. Okay, perfect. Nice rolls. We have a four general. Jeroen van Noord has four attack, guys. Holy shit. Jeroen van Noord, you are our biggest leader. 4%. They do not want white peace. Let's hope they will invade me again. Are they invading me in the colonies? No, they are not. Speedy maneuver tactic. Uh, we need a Hussar. Oh yeah, we cannot get it, unfortunately. I really hope we can get a white piece soon. Have to increase the uh, tariffs a bit. Yeah, there's a bug with Great Britain. They are at war for one day and then goes away. I we don't have the money to upgrade the factories. Yeah, that's we need more money. We need more monarinos. That's for sure, and more administration. We need more everything. Uh, so we do have the steamers now. We are not a great power yet, right? We are still waiting for the pop-up, I think. Oh, we are a great power now. Okay, then we have to influence our countries over here. You. 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 And you are my satellite, yeah. You need to become in my sphere, these four. And then we will take a look who we are going to take as well. So what am I going to take now? I think the railroads. And then we go for our nationalism and imperialism uh, technologies. Uh, we have until 1950 to get nationalism and imperialism, so we still have some time. It's still alright. Okay, well, finally a Hussar is getting built. Should maybe buy some uh, some goods automatically. That we have them in our stockpile. Especially when we get very rich. We should uh, get tons of ammunition. Canned food. Just almost everything. Just have a stockpile available. Uh, we can build the commerce raiders now. Which needs ton of... Artillery. But I'm gonna wait for uh, the ironclads, I think. Yeah, these are not... Uh, big ships, they are medium ships. I want more capital ships. Yeah, and that is what can happen when you are occupying some territory that is not your own culture and stuff. Some Jacobins are here. Belgium Nationalist. Flemish Liberations. Do this and hunt rebels. 
At least we are killing 5,000 a day. And Great Britain, come on. You lost. Peace out. I lost? What did I lose? Wait, what? What did I lose? Uh, nothing? Oh, maybe you're in a uh, Hussar. Yeah, we lost the Hussar. We need to keep Prussia on our side. Why do we not have Prussia on our side anymore? Oh, this game is so weird sometimes. We, are, we don't have any allies. They can just attack me right now. We need to peace out this war if we want to survive. And quickly. But that is the thing. Okay, increase the ones that I can. Increase you. And increase you. We have to wait for Siak a bit because they don't like me that much. Okay guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Hopefully we can get our alliance back with um, Mr. Prussia when we are out of the war. And now Sweden is in the war. Yikes. Very interesting. Okay guys, I'm going to end the episode and hopefully we are still alive in the next one. Please like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.